backlash received after this interview with Fox News Tucker Carlson stirring up conversations from the hot topic of reparations to minority students. WKU Sports is getting people moving with their plan to bring more workout options to campus. Construction of an indoor facility is coming. The new sports center will take place here, right between the football field and the soccer field. It is expected to be here in 2018. Compared to Obama's administration, about 1.4 million people were considered for deportation. Trump aims for 8 million people. Here in Bowling Green, we average about 5,000 immigrants. And not far from us in Nashville, having up to 70,000 immigrants, they're ranked the 17th city with the most illegal immigrants. Now over 15 cars during spring break were broken into, but you can't help but to ask, where is security and where is the police? But the ironic thing and why I ask that is because if you look to the left of me, security is located right across this complex. WKU is known for a lot of things, but rodeo? Next time you're sitting at home bored, try something new. I know I did. Western Kentucky's forensic team is not only doing major events nationally or internationally, but monthly as well, specifically Black History Month. And don't forget, today is National Pancake Day. IHOP is offering a free short stack of pancakes until 7 p.m. In return, they are asking for a money donation. Marquez organizes students to conduct a milk pour for the Potter College Fall Festival. He prides himself in teaching others the art of sculpting and 3 day art. To read more about the debate highlights, head over to the WKU News Channel 12 Facebook page. The next presidential debate will be on Sunday, October 9th. Now for more upcoming information about the next debate times and where you can watch it, follow us on Twitter at WKU News 12. Friends and family gathered to remember Robert Godwin. The 74-year-old died after a man shot him on the streets. The shooter then posted a video of the killing on Facebook. A general from the Marine Corps is speaking about an explicit photo scandal that's rocked the U.S. military. An art gallery dedicated to boxing legend Muhammad Ali has one fewer piece tonight. William Joy has the latest on the greatest in Louisville, Kentucky. Good evening and welcome to News Channel 12. I'm Simone Young. And I'm Drew Hurt. And I'm Justin Hobbs. Well, Justin, please tell me we don't have any more rain. Well, unfortunately, I have to be the bearer of bad news because there is a chance for some shower. Former WKU student Sam Kirby is growing his own local business downtown, and he's only one semester out of WKU. Last night, the first presidential debate sparked many reactions online and on social media. CNN reporter Reed Binion has a story. After a hearing of Trump's original executive order, WKU student Francisco Serrano organized an immigration forum on campus, and I was there to capture the event. The Bowling Green community came together to bring concerns they have with the current political climate. Attorneys, immigrants, and refugees came together as WKU hosted a Q&A session about immigration law. The immigration law but it's a very serious thing. This forum shed light on fears and let attendees know about their rights. Hands raised with questions about Trump's new executive order, DACA, deportation, and what to do when approached by immigration officials. It's a push to, for lack of a better word, deputize. My question is, do police officers have Lawyers answered every question the group had and offered legal strategies for different situations. And who need help? With that said, if, if you know about it, Language barriers were overcome with translators with the many asking about the safety of their families. Ferris Al-Kashali was one of the attendees asking about family. He hopes to bring the rest of his family from Iraq to America. Concerning me and my family, our SIV, special, on special immigrant visa, we served the U.S. Army for 10, 11 years, risking our lives and our family's life, trying to get them inside here. They are still, still back home. Now with the new order in place, Ferris Al-Kashali's home, home country of Iraq is no longer affected. I got tons of backlash. Backlash received after this interview with Fox News' Tucker Carlson stirring up conversations from the hot topic of reparations to minority students. The idea is not that this would hurt anybody. Um, it would help people. And, and well, wait a minute, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, let me stop you there. I, I don't think everything you're saying is crazy or anything, but the idea that no one would be hurt by preferences for some doesn't really hold up. If I have three kids and I give two ice cream but not the third, 
I'm kind of hurting that kid. Andrea is a part of the Student Government Association and proposes resolution that went beyond campus. That people were going to be trying to like get in contact with me. So Fox News put like the little section on Twitter and people were like mentioning me on Twitter, easy messages on Facebook. Look, I had to like make sure everything's like safe. Googled myself online to make sure like you couldn't find like my home address and things like that. This resolution demanded reparations from slavery to full and free access to college for African Americans. This resolution would not affect Andrea. She immigrated from Cameroon, Africa, but she's happy to help others. It says the goal was to step up with a demand to start different conversations that could bring diversity to college campuses. The amount of black students on top tier universities stagnated for the past 20 years. For everybody else, it's increased, not for black students. The type of things that not a lot of people know about and so that's why I think it's important that we make big, bold statements. Andrea says she hopes that people keep talking and more so into actual policies that can help minority students. For News Channel 12, I'm Simone Young. We're going to get the bad ones, uh, the really bad ones. We're getting them out. Compared to Obama's administration, about 1.4 million people were considered for deportation. Trump aims for 8 million people. Here in Bowling Green, we average about 5,000 immigrants. And not far from us in Nashville, having up to 70,000 immigrants, they're ranked the 17th city with the most illegal immigrants. I traveled to the city to see the odds. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee. His parents crossed the border 26 years right. ago. He put his work in, worked with his hands. He built the economy himself. His father owns a construction company working up to 60 hours My weekly. Wife and the bar. Only alternative we have it is go to the United States. And American dream is have a good job, a better life, uh, have a comfortable life. Something to live for the family. His main deportation concern losing his wife. 21 years. It's like when you lose your hand, part you by. I asked Edwin what he would say to Trump. Little detail there was for him to make the life he gave himself and his family. He worked just as hard as he did. Deportation raids last week detained close to 700 immigrants. News Channel 12, Simone Young.